The trouble with being a kid today is you grow up too quickly. There's just not enough time. Well, for some kids, that is. Where are we this time? Horrible histories. Wow! Horrible histories. Who would do that? A smart, hungry caveman. Good idea. Have any of you seen a girl about so tall, big, uh, cartoony eyes? Oh, you gotta go. You gotta go. And where's Stitch? I can't find him anyway. Wow! Socrates rock. Is that the Spanish Armada? Horrible histories. Horrible histories. Horrible histories. Well, Mo, what do you think about all this cool old stuff? We're history! Try having milk for lunch. Makes for a nice, chunky mucus. Hey, Mo, looks like someone's moving in next door. Now, the return 12 door buffet goes in the dining room. And careful with that lava lamp. Ah! I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation. You mean a perfectly awful explanation? Dungle's gonna be my neighbor! Sorry, Mo, but there's no way I'm gonna come over here anymore. He'll butt into everything. What if we build a wall? Yeah, sure, and it'll be really tall. And really thick. A wall, it's perfect. Well, until force field technology is available, of course. Building a wall, eh? I know some folks who could offer a few pointers. Oh, no. I know this game. You'll zap us back in time, and we'll get into a bunch of weird situations. Hmm. Couldn't be more weird than having Dongo as a next-door neighbor. Point taken. Zap away. <laughs> Welcome to ancient China. The time, 221 BCE. Black bean sauce had just become popular and the first wheelbarrow is invented. Wow, I feel like a rat in a giant maze. Indeed, the Chinese built walls around everything. Houses and towns and... The more I think about it, the more I have a craving for cheese. <clears throat> As I was saying, the Chinese word for wall is chum which is also the word for city. Then they're bound to have one wall around here that's dongle-proof. We can make some sketches and recreate it all back home. Hail to the great spirits from beyond. The cracks in this oracle bone foretold that I would have a surprise visit this day. Then, poof, I saw you appear out of thin air. Welcome, spirits, to this unworthy earthly plane. Uh, sorry, pal. We aren't spirits. Ah, it is a secret. I will not tell a soul. Just allow me to act as your servant while you walk among us mortals. I am Ning. You know, maybe you can help us out, Ning. We're looking for a terrific wall. One strong enough to keep out Dongle. I mean, keep out evil beings from the spirit realm. I know just the wall. Come to my humble home, great spirits. Nice house, Ning. Hey, you don't use glass in your windows. This is paper. And these walls aren't exactly what we had in mind. No, no. From here, the rooftops are the only place that the Great Wall can be seen. <gasps> Did you say the Great Wall? Emperor Qin calls it the Demon Barrier. He thinks it will have the power to stop evil spirits. It's... 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 It's perfect! We'll make one just like it in my yard! 
Your yard? That's the Great Wall. So we'll make a smaller version. Call it the Pretty Good Wall or something like that. Yeah! Not even Dumble's annoying laugh. Hee hee hee! Can make it over that. You bet. China has a lot of walls, but the Great Wall is the biggest and baddest of them all. Emperor Qin had a dream and saw that his empire was vulnerable, so he ordered the wall to be built and for it to be the biggest structure ever created by mankind. Once completed, the Great Wall will be an average of 20 feet thick at the bottom, 12 feet thick at the top. <laughs> There will be 40-foot guard towers every 200 yards, close enough together so that the archer's arrows could reach anywhere along the wall. And when finished, the Great Wall will be about 4,000 miles long and will be the only man-made structure visible from outer space. Look at the UFO! That's not a UFO, that's the Great Wall of China, the only man-made structure visible from outer space. Mo, you're gonna need a bigger backyard. Oh, yes, yes. Hold that pose for a moment. I need proof that you spirits chose Ning to be your guide on this earthly plane. Hold it. My nose isn't really that big, is it? I was a woodcarver before Emperor Qin assigned me to work on the... <gasps> the wall! Look at the time! Now that's an innovative timepiece. Yes, the ancient Chinese were very resourceful. They invented the speedometer, the potter's wheel, even toilet paper. Have they gotten around to egg rolls yet? I was thinking we could have a little snack. <gasps> oh, you spirits bring Ning good luck. We made it on time. What if you were late? Oh, I would get yelled at by my supervisor. And then get my nose chopped off. Believe me, there are many strict rules around here. Oh, that's General Tien. He's in charge of construction on this part of the wall. Worker subjects of the great Emperor Chen, today begins a new day of... <clears throat> today begins a new... Today! Today begins a new day of work on the mighty wall. Your Emperor... <laughs> Worker subjects of the great Emperor Chin. Today begins a new day of Oh, just start hauling bricks. Uh, I'd say the general needs to go with the decaf green tea. Come, great spirits. I will show you your tasks. Task? No, Ning, we're not here to work on the wall. We're here to watch you guys do it so we can learn how to build our own. All right, just be grateful that you are immortal spirits. Why? Because Emperor Qin orders that anyone refusing to work on the wall will be instantly put to death. <laughs> Very clever. You pretend to fear death so that others will not know you are spirits. Uh, Ning, we're not spirits. Not spirits. And not spirit must be an even more powerful variety of spirit. It is hard to keep up. Okay. While you live in your little fantasy world, uh, just tell us when we can stop stirring this goop. No, no. Never stop stirring. That is the second rule of this job. So what's the first rule? Ah! Keep wiggling your toes or they all get stuck together. <sighs> Mo, can't we just go home and build our own wall? No, we have to learn how to build that wall. Unless you want Dongle coming by to stop our spitting contest or popping over to brag about all of his extra credit projects. Yeah, I get a rash when he does that. <laughs> no, Sweat, we've got it! Mo, don't do it! See them! I caught you and now you must suffer! <gasps> the Emperor! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute, guys! What's the problem? 
The Emperor saw you place that rock on the cart, and that is not your job. Yeah, so? Yeah, so? It is against the Emperor's rules to perform someone else's job. So what's the punishment? We put it back where we found it, right? That, plus you are put to death. Wait a minute. The Emperor is going to execute us for going outside our job description? Is he nuts? Nuts? Emperor Chin? Heavens no. He is the most sane, level-headed man around. He'd kill you guys if you didn't say that, eh? Pretty much. Yeah. Before your execution, your bodies must be purified. Does a snack come with that? Welcome, condemned peasants. Can you tell us what's going on? Well, we're in the middle of a long wall-building process, and the Emperor would like you to be part of it. But we were. We were stirring up goop and stuff. No, no. He wants you to be part of it. Specifically, that part right over there. Over there. Your life force will strengthen the wall. But first, to cleanse your bodies, you must be surrounded by this purifying vapor. Purifying? It smells like tuna salad and armpits. You're gonna bury us in the wall? This is crazy! We've gotta to talk to this Emperor guy. He'll listen to reason. The Emperor is not big on reason. <laughs> That's not the half of it. Emperor Chen was crazed, homicidal, and sometimes just plain rude. Well, you'll see. Roll him! Tonight on Behind the Monarch, Emperor Qin Shuangdi, a legend who unified China but paid the price of ruling in the fast lane. Qin inherited his kingdom at the early age of 13. After only a few years, he established a new unified nation. The young ruler changed his name to Qin Shuangdi, or the first emperor, and called his new empire China after himself. He might have been powerful, but he was also extremely cruel. He declared that a special bell be rung at sunset and sunrise. Anyone caught on the streets at night would be executed. The emperor also ruled that only he could wear the design of a five-clawed dragon on his clothing. Anyone caught wearing the special symbol would be executed. Hmm. If they were caught at night, I wonder if they were executed twice. Anyway, it all ended one cold evening in 206 BCE, after drinking a potion that he believed would make him live forever. The Emperor died. Was he murdered, or did he just drink a bad batch of brew? No one knows. This guy's egg roll is definitely wrapped a bit tight, wouldn't you say? Come on, you two. Time to... <laughs> Execute the Emperor's command. Stop, mortal! I think it's only fair to warn you that Mo and I are really powerful beings from the spirit realm. And if you anger us, we will smite you with our super powerful powers. So much for that idea. Think I should have just put some cool ninja moves on him? Not spirits! Do not fear! Ning! Thank goodness you're here to save us! What's the plan? No plan. Escape is impossible. I was saying do not fear because you are the invincible not spirits! They cannot harm you! Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on their faces! It doesn't get much worse than this! Well, actually it could. I have a little gas. Ah! Wow, it's pretty amazing what a little fermented gas can do, huh? Not so amazing. Actually, I broke you out of there. After I zapped you over a thousand years into the future, that is. This is a future? Everything looks exactly the same! Yes, because of the Great Wall, the Chinese had very few outside influences in culture or society. Everything just kind of stayed the same. Now, what do you think about building a wall in your yard? I love it! If a wall like this can keep Dongo out for a thousand years, then I'm sold! Uh, maybe I should rephrase my question. Look, Mo! It's Ning! 
He's aged pretty well for being over a thousand years old. Actually, that's Ning's great 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 grandson. How can we be sure this guy's really a descendant of Ning? Oh, great not spirits! Welcome back to our unworthy earthly plane! Never mind. Your legend has been in my family for generations. Your return will surely bring a new era of blissful peace and prosperity to China. Oh, Genghis Khan will destroy us all! Tell me, monk, the attack is going well. Yes, it's fine, Great Khan. We'll have these people conquered by sundown. Maybe sooner if we take a short lunch. Oh, good. We'll finish up here, then continue on to conquer the western provinces. Do you think maybe we can rest first? Monk, what is that thing right over there? It looks like a wall! If someone has built a wall to keep me out, that someone is asking to be conquered! Oh, not today, Great Khan. Look, it's just a, a sculpture. Yes, the Chinese are very artsy. Let's forget about it. What do you say? I did hear something about a Chinese wall. Foolish insects! I will crush them! <laughs> Just look at this view, Stitch. Yes, it's a great day to be alive, isn't it, Mo? Today, we lay siege to that wall and utterly destroy all who stand in our way. Got the dimensions on these parapets, Ning? Yes, oh great nut spirit. Lucky for us, you inherited the family wood carving talent. Here, have a look. Cool, we're almost finished. We've got crenellated battlements that we can shoot paintballs through. With a load of water balloons in the guard tower, there's no way Dongle's getting over this baby. Oh, uh, pardon me, great nut spirits. I wouldn't worry about Dongles. We've got Mongols! <laughs> they have come to conquer us! I don't know. From the smell of them, they just might be searching for shower facilities. <laughs> Foolish Chinese! You dare defy the Great Khan by building a wall? I will! It's not a wall. He said, it's not a wall! Well, uh, what is it then? A natural rock formation. Yes, an unusually long one. Wait, you are trying to trick me! Fools, do you know who I am? I, who have conquered countless lands. I, who have crushed entire empires in my fist. I am Genghis Khan, leader of the bloodthirsty Mongol hordes! Those are some scary dudes. Ha, <laughs> that's an understatement. The Mongols were from the harshest regions of Central Asia and Siberia. They were small but incredibly powerful for their size. They could ride for weeks on very little food, and if they ran out they could stay alive by sucking small amounts of blood from their horses' necks. The average Mongol was armed with an axe, a sword, a lance and two bows. The Mongols were perhaps the most formidable warriors that ever lived, possessing strength, intelligence, endurance, cunning and excellent hygiene. Okay, I made the last one up. Wow, these guys need to seriously chill out. Yeah! Don't fight the love, man! I will give you until a count of ten to open that gate! One, three, seven! Oh, great and powerful not spirit! This is your chance! Bring down your wrath upon the evil conqueror! Three, nine! Uh, <laughs> Twelve, three, ten! Fire! Oh dear, this is terrible! You're telling me! Now I'll never get to build that wall in my garden! No, 
Oh, I think the entire Chinese empire is about to crumble. Oh, yeah, that too. their enemies to break through. Something tells me the same thing will happen with Dongle. Yeah, he's so nosy, building a wall would only egg him on. <laughs> so much for our wolf plans. I guess we'll just have to deal with him some other way. Now that's more like it. Can we go home now? But wait, what about Ning? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll get on the Mad Conqueror's good side. There's always another solution. Maybe we could try the same thing with Dongle. You mean kiss up to him? Ugh. Farewell, great nod spirits. I will never forget you. Thanks, Ning. See ya! That's it? No three wishes or anything? Huh. Some spirits. Well, we might as well... Go welcome my new day. Day. Oh, Stitch, I can't even say it. Sometimes life isn't pretty, Mo. Before I go, on behalf of the student moving committee, welcome to the area. My itemized bill should arrive in three to five business days. Ta-ta! Student moving committee? Mo, Baron isn't moving in. He was just helping with the move! Hiya, I see you met Darren. Yeah, we needed a few extra hands on loading our stuff, like the jungle gym. You guys can come and try it out if, like, you want. The word wondrous comes to mind. Almost as wondrous as the Great Wall. Hey, I'm done with walls. We almost put one between us and a new pal. Guess we got the luck of the nut spirits, huh? <laughs> Last one to the jungle gym's a rotten egg roll! <laughs>